What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 25 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to invoke API Gateway endpoints using Python. So let's get started. So here, uh, as you can see on my screen, I have created a new API endpoint with a resource that is slash invoke. And within that resource, I have created three methods that is delete, get and post. So we will go through it one by one. Uh, but before we move on, I have also created a Lambda function that is Python invoke API. So what it does is basically, if you look at line number five, then it will check uh, what is the invocation method. So if we are invoking get method, then it should return or it will return get method invoked along with the query string parameter. And then on line number 12, if the method is post, then it will return post method invoked along with the payload that the user or the client is passing. Then on line number 19, it will look for if the method is delete, then it will simply return delete method invoked. So this is basically the backend Lambda function that I have integrated with all these methods. So let's go through it one by one. So let's start with the delete method. So here I have did nothing. I mean, I had configured nothing over here uh, except that the Lambda function and the Lambda proxy integration, right? So no configuration over here. Then moving along to the get method. So here uh, everything is same except the query string parameter that we are going to pass from the front end or from the client side. So I have integrated the Lambda function that is Python invoke API along with the Lambda proxy integration. And then I came back to method request and within URL query string parameter, I had added one query string parameter that is QS, a short of query string, right? So while we will invoke get method, uh, we will be passing this query string parameter. And then finally, I have created the third method that is post. So here uh, again, I had configured nothing uh, extra except the integration of the Lambda function and the Lambda proxy integration. Correct. So these are the three methods that uh, I will show you that how we can invoke it using Python. Correct. So this was the overall setup. Now I will navigate to the sublime. So here I will create a new file. I will say new file, maybe main.py. And I will save it. So here we are going to use requests module. So if you are not installed that, then you can install the request module using pip3 command that is pip3 install requests. Correct. So I have already installed it, so I'm not going to execute it. But in case you don't have it installed, then just execute that command and that package will get installed. Correct. Now moving along. So here uh, we are going to write few lines of code. So the very first thing that we have to do is import requests. Correct. And then we will define the invocation URL that is the API endpoint URL. So I will say URL equal to double quotes. So we will get the invocation URL from the API gateway. So I have already deployed this API. So I can simply click on stages and select the deployment stage and copy the invocation URL. Now I will paste it over here. Now invocation URL will be followed by the resource. So in my case, the resource is invoke, right? So let me show you once again. So if I click on resources, then I have created this slash invoke resource and within that resource I have configured or created three methods that is delete, get and post. Correct. So moving along. Now we have defined URL. Now we will define the headers that we want to pass. So I will say headers equal to a dictionary, right? So here you can pass on something like this that is content type colon application slash JSON. Correct. So you can pass on something like this. So for now I will leave it blank or maybe let it be. Then uh, the third thing that we are going to define is parents equal to again dictionary. 
So this params is basically referring to the query string that we want to pass, right? So here we will uh, add on query string parameter while invoking the get method. Now the another one that we are going to define is data. That's nothing but the payload, right? That we want to pass. So we will pass on the payload while invoking or executing the post method, correct? So here we have, uh, I think all the things that we want to use further in order to invoke or call the API endpoint successfully. Correct. So now uh, we will say R that is response basically equal to requests, requests dot. So request can be followed by the method that you want to execute. So it can be the get method that we want to execute. Or you can also write something like this, uh, that is R equal to request requests. I'm sorry for that pronunciation dot request not S. And then uh, we can say we want to execute get method, right? So this is kind of more generic form, right? And this is uh, the specific form. So we will go with the second one, right? So here like get, uh, if you want to execute the post, then you can replace that get with post and the, so this is basically the method name that you want to invoke or execute, right? So you can uh, choose any of the uh, method that you want to use basically, correct? So here I will be using uh, this, that is request dot request. And now I want to invoke the get method or execute the get, right? which will be followed by the URL. Now here uh, we want to pass on the query string parameter. So here within params, I will say us colon some value, correct? And now along with this, I will pass on the query string parameter saying params equal to params, correct? Now, if you have any headers, then you can say headers equal to headers. So this will also pass on the headers. And then finally, I will say print r dot text. So this is basically the response that we will be getting from the API endpoint. Correct. So now let's go ahead and try to execute this. So I will say Python three main dot py and I will say enter. Now, as you can see, we have the response saying get method invoked along with the query string parameter that we have passed that is QS followed by some value. Now moving along to the post method. Now here, uh, let me copy this and comment this and paste it over here. Now here, instead of get, it will be post. The URL will remain as it is. Here we are not passing any query string parameter within the post method. Headers, we will leave it as it is. Now here we want to pass on the payload. So here within data, I will say some payload, something like this, colon payload maybe, right? So let me command this. This is for payload. This is for query string parameter and this is basically self-explanatory. These are headers, correct? Now here we want to pass on the payload. So the payload you can, so you can pass payload by defining data equal to data. It's not necessary that uh, the variable name should be data. You can say, data underscore payload or anything like that, right? But this part remain same. So I can say data underscore payload here. And I think we are good to go. So now let's go ahead and try to execute this. Let me clear this. I will say python3 main.py. And here we have the response saying post method invoked with payload that is payload equal to payload. Correct. So this is how you can invoke or execute post method uh, using Python basically, right? Now the very last method that we are going to invoke is the delete method. So within delete, we are not passing anything. 
so here instead of post it's going to be delete correct url remain as it is we are not passing any headers if you want you can pass on also we are not passing any payload or even we are not passing any query string parameter correct now let's go ahead and run this so as you can see here we have the response saying delete method invoked right so this is how you can invoke certain methods so here i have only demonstrated the get post and delete method but you can also uh, go on with the put method or any other method that uh, you want to invoke or execute right so well uh, this is how you can invoke these methods or invoke api endpoint using python but before i close this tutorial i also want to show you what if i want to call this API endpoint within Flask application. So it's pretty much straightforward. So let's go to app.py. So here, uh, if you look at the uh, left side or the left panel, here I have the skeleton ready for the Flask application. So I can quickly uh, run this and show you. So let me clear this. I will say unicorn app call on app, enter. So here I have the Flask application serving or running at 127.0.0.1 at 8000 port. So I can simply copy this and paste it over here. So here, as you can see, I have the response saying message thanks, right? So if you look at the code, then here at the root index or the, at the home page, I'm returning message thanks. So that's the reason we are seeing that response, right? Now let's define or let's try to invoke the API endpoint over here. So let me copy this. So here I have already imported request, so I don't need to do that again. So within index, I will say this parameters that is URL headers, params, data underscore payload. Correct. And finally we will copy this that is request dot request followed by the method and the URL, right? Now here, instead of message colon thanks, I will say r dot text, right? Because this is the response that we are getting from the API gateway. Now let me go ahead and rerun this application. Oops, it says indentation error. Okay. I think now we are good. One more time. And here we are, right? Now, if I go ahead and reload this page, then as you can see, we have the response saying delete method invoked. And similarly, it will go with post and the get method. So, well, uh, this is how you can invoke the API endpoint using Python with request module in Flask application as well as within normal.py file. So well, that's it for this tutorial. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.